She was simply the best, no matter the time zone. So why did Tina Turner relinquish her U.S. citizenship and move to Switzerland of all places? The queen of rock and roll moved to the land of neutrality with her future husband, Erwin Bach, a German national and music industry executive in the mid-1990s. She told Larry King in 1997, I have left America because my, my success was in another country and my boyfriend was in another country. She also told King that Europe supported her music more than the U.S., hugely so. And Turner simply liked Switzerland and told the talk show host, My boyfriend moved there to run the company and I always wanted to go to Switzerland and I was very happy. Becoming a citizen of another country, however, does not necessarily mean renouncing U.S. citizenship. According to the Washington Post, Turner technically relinquished her U.S. citizenship, meaning she decided that she simply had no intention of ever living in the U.S. again in the future. A formal renunciation of citizenship, on the other hand, would have been hard to reverse, with major tax implications. Turner must have considered these issues when she married Bach and became a Swiss national. They met in 1985, fell in love immediately, and lived together for nearly 30 years before marrying in 2013. That same year, Turner obtained Swiss citizenship, which enabled her to buy property in the country. In 2022, the pair bought a $76 million estate on Lake Zurich. In late May 2023, Turner died at 83 in her adopted home country after a long illness. She'd had intestinal cancer since 2016 and received a kidney transplant in 2017. Turner was famous worldwide, but especially beloved in Europe. She told Larry King in 1997, I'm as big as Madonna in Europe. I'm as big in some places as the Rolling Stones. Turner became popular in England after releasing Private Dancer in 1984. She lived there for two years, moved to Germany with Bach for three years, bought a house in France, and settled in Zurich because of Bach's business. She stayed there until her death. In 2013, Turner spoke with Oprah Winfrey about her relationship with Bach. She recalled their first meeting in an airport as love at first sight. She said she, quote, needed to love a person then. She described Bach, who was 16 years her junior, as handsome and young. He, he was another kind of handsome. He was an unusual looking man. Great eyes. Bach joined the interview and said it was hard for him to hear about Turner's abusive marriage to Ike Turner. He said, I always think that Tina will one day erase this, reset this. How that part of Turner's history influenced her move to Switzerland remains unknown. Turner might have loved her big bold move to Europe, but not everyone shared her feelings. The Daily Mail reported that her son Ike Turner Jr. felt neglected by his mother. In 2018, he told the tabloid, my mother is living her life. She has a new husband and she's in Europe. She doesn't want to have anything to do with the past. Though Turner supported her children financially, Ike Jr. said she cut ties with the life she had with Ike Turner, including their children. He added, I haven't talked to my mother since God knows when, probably around 2000. I don't think any of my brothers have talked to her in a long time either. Ike Jr. also said his mother and father were absent parents and that housekeepers raised him. Turner was visibly giddy when speaking with Larry King in 1997 about fulfilling her dream of traveling to Switzerland. When Turner and Bach's estate purchase on Lake Zurich was announced in 2022, it gave fans some insight into Turner's life abroad. The Associated Press quoted Bach as saying that he and Turner felt very comfortable in Switzerland, and that the decision to buy the estate resulted partly from pandemic travel restrictions.